Hey guys, Real McCoy 411 and welcome back to my channel. I'm about to put my hair up in a protective style, which I will be probably just wearing this, a puff, or some little cornrows on the side. But what I'm going to do is show you what I do to keep my hair safe and moisturized throughout the week. Okay. Okay, so the first thing that you have to do is make sure that you have a moisturizing shampoo, conditioner, and deep conditioner. That's what you're going to start with. Okay. My choice is going to be Shea Moisture. We're going to go in with their Power Greens Shampoo and their Power Greens Conditioner, okay? Now, these are Moringa and Avocado Kale Matcha and Green Algae. It's to moisturize and nourish weak, dull, curly hair. Now, I have been doing wash a series of washing goes. So my hair is desperately in need of a week of just moisture and protective hairstyling, okay? So we're gonna shampoo and condition our hair, and then we're gonna go in with the Shea Moisture Power Greens Reconstructor. We're gonna put that in our hair. So while the deep conditioner is sitting on my hair, I'm gonna leave it on there for 10 to 15 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and review these products. Um, this was my first time seeing these Shea Moisture products, and I found them at my local Walgreens. Now, the shampoo is liquidy, so you have to be careful when you put it, it's not thick at all, but it does lather up very good, and it cleanses your hair. Went in with the Reconstructor. Now, this has a creamy consistency, it's a creamy consistency. I applied it to from roots to ends. It sits. It, it, this has a. It's a pleasant smell. Okay. Um, Moringa oil, avocado oil, and power green mix. So you want to make sure that your base shampoo, conditioner, and deep conditioner is going to be set with moisture moisture and shine you want that because you're not going to manipulate your hair you're going to be done doing non-manipulating hairstyles okay that's what protective hairstyling is uh, i'm going to go in with the uh, wild growth oil and i'm going to go in with the shea moisture hydrate and repair leave-in now, I like this line. I love the Hydrate and Repair line. It, it works great. I have the entire line, but I wanted to add these greens to my hair because everybody knows that greens are good for your hair. So for this week, I chose the green line. <laughs> and it's the Power Green line, okay? So it's been about 15 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this out. Then I'm gonna come back section off my hair and show you guys what I'm going to do with every section of my hair at nighttime for the nighttime okay so my hair is feeling great guys it actually gave my hair my curls a, a little boost I like that once again my hair does not feel stripped anything let me rinse out this comb real quick and we're going to comb through our hair and section our hair so that worked great, worked great. My hair is. this section with the leave-in and you can use any leave-in of your choice. So 
So I'm going to spray it with the leave-in. I'm going to go in with the wild growth oil. Get my scalp real good. And you can also use your blue magic. But since I am focusing on some growth, I'm going to make sure I got my wild growth oil. And get it on that scalp real good. And then you just want to work that into that section. Just massage it into that section. You can use your shampoo brush. You can use your fingers. You can use whatever you want to do. And then for another extra layer of moisture, I'm going in with the Dugrow Mega Thick Lotion. Now this lotion helps thicken and strengthen your hair, helps repair weak and damaged hair, moisturizes, detangles, it has shea butter, avocado oil, bot uh, botanical thickeners, beeswax, and vitamin enrich, helps reduce breakage, allowing hair to grow longer. So I'll just take some of that lotion, and add it to that section with the leave-in with the oil. Okay. And that just helps seal in all the moisture. And I'll get my demon brush here. I brush it all up together. And since I'm going to be wearing it in a puff, I kind of want to keep it in the stretch state. So what I'm going to be doing is banding it. So I'll just band this section up. because I'm not gonna be adding any heat to my hair. Just grab a cup of them. And you just band down to the ends. And that is basically what I'm gonna be doing over my entire head. Okay, so this section is moisturized and I just move on to the next section. I just put on my cap for at night time and move over these bands the way I want them to lay out. I don't want this one just sticking up in the top of my head. But yeah, you cover your hair and protect your hair every night. Cover and protect your hair, cover and protect your hands. Take care of your hair strength. <music> 